We are not merely speculating about what an alternate Earth would look like for the first time in human history. We're viewing it with the James Webb Space Telescope, the most potent space telescope ever constructed. The sharpest image of Proxima b, a planet circling Proxima Centauri, the star nearest to our own, has recently been taken by scientists. One of the most discussed exoplanets for a long time is Proxima b, which is only 4.2 light years away. It is almost as big as Earth and is located in the so-called habitable zone, which is where liquid water may theoretically exist. Up until now, it was all numbers, orbital speed, mass, and distance. Today, however, it is an image for the first time. The planet's reflection of sunlight was not the source of the captured light web. It originated from the infrared heat of the planet itself, evidence that the world itself is now in focus. It's an actual place, not simply a hypothesis or a spot on a chart. What can we infer from this picture? Is this our first genuine look at an extraterrestrial world? What more might be out there? This goes beyond science. History is being made. An image of a different Earth. We have witnessed it for the first time in history. I have actually seen it, not just imagined or simulated it. An actual photograph of a planet that is just over four light years away from Earth. The planet Proxima b, which orbits the nearest star to our Sun, has just been seen in its best picture ever by the James Webb Space Telescope. This isn't another picture of space. This is a much larger issue. Astronomers have been searching for planets similar to ours, locations that could support life, for decades. Proxima b has consistently been a formidable contender. It's not far. It orbits in the habitable zone, where temperatures may permit liquid water, and is nearly the same size as Earth. But we just had numbers up until now. Telescope data demonstrating how it dims the light during a flyby or how its gravity pulls on its star. We were unable to view it, but we could speculate as to what it may be like. Then everything was altered by James Webb. The telescope focused on the small signal from the planet next to the star Proxima Centauri by blocking out the star's light with its potent infrared equipment. It collected enough information over a few weeks to create the most precise image of Proxima b to date. It showed us amazing things. A globe that is no longer merely a hazy duh. Signs of the temperature variations were visible. One side is probably constantly in the light, while the other is always in the dark. We could also see that, unlike Venus, the planet is not shrouded in dense clouds. Instead, it has a surface that appears to be rocky, much like Earth, based on the way light reflects off of it. This picture is more than just a scientific triumph. It's a turning point in our understanding of the cosmos. No longer is Proxima be a mystery. It's an actual location. It possesses heat, but shadow, and possibly more. Whether life exists or ever existed is still unknown to us. However, we may now at last glance at that planet and declare, we've seen it. The star who lives next door. Let's zoom out and discuss Proxima Centauri, the star that Proxima b orbits. It is the closest star to our Sun and a member of the Alpha Centauri system, which consists of three stars. Two of those stars are visible to the unaided eye from Earth, but Proxima Centauri is dimmer, colder, and smaller. It is the one with the most intriguing planet, although it is invisible without a telescope. Proxima b orbits its star at a considerably closer distance than Earth does from the Sun. In actuality, it takes only 11.2 Earth days to complete one orbit. However, Proxima b is still within what astronomers refer to as the habitable zone because the star is far colder than the Sun. This indicates that it receives around the same quantity of energy as the Earth. That might theoretically make it possible for there to be water on the surface. Additionally, life may exist wherever there is water. It's not that easy. The red dwarfs are known to be active, and Proxima Centauri is one of them. They emit strong solar flares, which are radiation explosions capable of destroying an entire planet's atmosphere. The radiation that strikes Proxima b is hundreds of times more powerful than that which the Sun emits to Earth. Those flares might remove the planet's shield and render its surface uninhabitable if it lacks a dense atmosphere or a strong magnetic field. Nevertheless, 
Proxima b has a unique scientific role. We can examine it better than nearly any other exoplanet because of its close proximity, and we get more knowledge with every new observation. We now know that it is not a gas giant but rather a rocky planet. We are aware of its size and separation from the star. And now we even have an idea of what it looks like. Thanks to James Webb, we have the best chance of discovering another Earth. In our cosmic backyard, despite the fact that it is a planet in a challenging neighborhood. And for that reason, Proxima b is so intriguing. Although it's not flawless, it's genuine, it's possible, and it's close. The telescope that enabled it. You need something special to see a planet like Proxima b hidden in its star's dazzling glow. The James Webb Space Telescope can help with that. JWST was launched in 2021 with the goal of seeing things that had never been seen before. In addition to local exoplanets like Proxima b, there are also far-off galaxies and young stars. Its unique perspective on the cosmos is what sets it apart. Webb concentrates on infrared light, which is heat that allows it to see through dust and glare that typically obscure planets from view, in contrast to conventional telescopes that record visible light. Scientists use MRI and AnerCam, two of the most sophisticated instruments available on the web, to photograph Proxima b. Not a single picture is taken by these equipment. Rather, over the course of days and weeks, they gather little amounts of light. After then, the group combines all of the data to uncover what was obscured by the noise. In this instance, that meant removing Proxima b's dim heat glow from behind its star's considerably stronger brightness. As a result, the star and its planet stand out sharply, sufficient to demonstrate that the planet is solid, genuine, and not merely a space shadow. However, Webb didn't simply take a picture and stop there. It investigated the brightness of the planet, the distribution of heat on its surface, and the variations in that heat over time. Scientists are aware that the planet is probably neatly locked in this way. One side is always in the night, and the other is always facing the star. That makes all the difference. It indicates that one side might be frozen and the other might be burned. Only a couple of years ago, this type of technology was non-existent. This view of the cosmos is made possible the web, which is similar to upgrading from a grainy webcam to a high-definition one. With it, we've at last transformed Proxima b from a data ghost into a real-world entity. It's more than just a neat space utility. It is a key. A key to viewing other planets as places rather than speculations. We are prepared to investigate further once Webb demonstrated that Proxima b is real. What we can see in the picture then was truly visible to the James Webb telescope when it examined Proxima b. Much more than a single glimmer of light. It's possible that the image itself doesn't resemble one from your phone. It is composed of heat and invisible infrared radiation rather than color. However, Color filters are used by scientists to highlight the differences after processing it. Warmer temperatures are found in brighter places. Cooler places are those that are darker. And a tail starts to emerge from this. The planet appears stony at first glance. Unlike a gas planet or a world with dense clouds, its surface reflects light in the same way as rock and dust. That's crucial. It indicates that, unlike Jupiter or Venus, we're probably dealing with a solid surface rather than a swirling atmosphere. Second, the planet's temperatures clearly differ from one another. The side that faces the star all the time is most likely the one that is warmer. Always turning aside, the other side is colder and darker. The proximity of a planet to its star causes this type of tidal locking. Although it produces harsh conditions, it also suggests that temperatures may be more consistent in the twilight zone which lies between those two extremes. Third, we might be catching a glimpse of an atmosphere. Webb detected clues that the planet's heat doesn't go away right away, which would indicate that a thin layer of air is keeping it in place. It's a major deal, yet it's still debatable. Water, climate, and maybe life depend on an atmosphere. Lastly, are there any signs of something greater? Experts ask. Could there be indications of volcanic heat or perhaps nighttime lights resembling cities? If there are faint glows, JWST can detect them because of its power. 
Although neither is proven at this time, the fact that we are able to ask those questions at all demonstrates how far we have come. This picture is more than just a view of another world. It is the closest thing we have ever experienced to standing on a far-off planet and surveying the surroundings. Hence, in the illumination, scientists are examining every pixel of light from Proxima b to determine the true nature of this world. The surface appears rough at first. It may seem insignificant, but it's enormous. It indicates that this is a planet with a stable surface, perhaps featuring valleys, buns, or even old riverbeds. It isn't a cloud-covered planet like Venus or a gas giant. Second, we can infer information about the planet's texture from its brightness and the way it reflects heat. Unlike ice, it is neither smooth nor glossy. Like dry rock, it absorbs and reflects heat. This lends credence to the theory that Proxima b may have a rocky desert on Earth or a bare solid surface similar to Mars. The a very thin atmosphere was suggested by some JWST data. The way heat travels across the surface is inconsistent with a world without any air, albeit this is not proved. The surface might be shielded from abrupt temperature changes and some warmth could be retained by a light atmosphere. For there may be volcanic heat or other indications of interior activity. The thermal map shows several patterns that point to regions that are warmer than anticipated. This may indicate that the planet's core remains hot, which could contribute to the preservation of an atmosphere. Every new piece of information creates a larger picture, just as how Earth's volcanoes emit gases that replenish ours. Furthermore, we now know that Proxima b is more than simply a dead rock. Even though we are still unsure if it is indeed habitable, it is vibrant, lively, and mysterious, a neighborhood that is unsafe. Though it inhabits a very harsh region of space, Proxima b may be a planet in the ideal location. First, Proxima Centauri, its star, is a red dwarf. Despite their modest size and cool appearance, these stars are aggressive. They emit massive radiation bursts known as flares, which can persist for hours or even days. These strike Proxima b significantly more frequently than Earth. Second, in addition to illuminating the sky, these flares have the potential to wipe out a planet's capacity to sustain life. Any atmosphere might be stripped away by the radiation in the absence of a strong magnetic field. Furthermore, water cannot stay on the surface for very long without an atmosphere. The, the atmosphere might only be able to persist in a single, tiny area. The middle zone, where day and night meet, may be safe enough for the existence of liquid water and air because Proxima b is neatly locked. Although it's a thin line, perhaps it's sufficient. For th there is optimism in current models. Proxima b may live if it had an ozone layer similar to Earth's. Even on a flare-active planet, ozone can block dangerous UV radiation, which may be sufficient to protect life, at least in limited, stable zones. In the twilight indications of the unseen, Proxima b may be clinging to its habitability while simultaneously being constantly bombarded by its star. The story gets even more thrilling from this point on. What if Proxima b is more than simply heat and rocks? First, JWST has the capability to detect artificial light, such as the glow from orbiting mirrors or cities. We might be able to see it if there was a culture there that used technology to illuminate their night side. According to a second notion, a highly developed species would be able to reflect sunlight from the day side onto the night side by using enormous mirrors. By doing this, more of the world would be habitable and the harsh circumstances would be balanced. It's an absurd notion, but given JWST's sensitivity, detection is not impossible. Proxima b is now a priority target for future SETI, search for alien intelligence missions, even if we haven't observed anything that appears to be man-made. We would want to listen here first if intelligent life were present. For the fact that we can examine a world beyond our solar system at this level brings up new possibilities. We are able to look for evidence of technology for the first time. It's not only dismal life. Our question goes beyond whether Proxima b is still alive. We want to know if there is someone residing there. It was our first real look at a different house. Everything changes when you see Proxima b like this. 
This is a location, not just a piece of data. First of all, we have never seen a planet this near that might be inhabited, a little more than four light years away. We now know that it is rocky, that its surface experiences temperature variations, and that it may have a thin atmosphere. Secondly, it has become into a test case and a symbol for our search for extraterrestrial life. We can examine other nearby planets, such as those in the TRAPPIST-1 system or orbiting stars like Tidy, if we can clearly study Proxima b. Third, it makes us want to go there someday. It would take 75, 000 years to get to Proxima b at our current speed. However, innovative concepts like light-powered solar sails could cut that time down to only 20 years. It is already being worked on by projects like Breakthrough Starshot. Fourth, this picture serves as a reminder of both our progress and our future goals. If there were other planets, we used to wonder. We can now see them. We might stand on one someday. Proxima b is no longer only a planet. It's our first concrete step toward a new world and, perhaps, a new home. We now wonder what or who might be residing on Proxima b if it is indeed an other Earth. Go ahead and use your imagination. Click the subscribe button and come along on our adventure into the unknown if you share our fascination with the hunt for life. The universe has only just begun.